Hello, I'm David Ben Murphy. Welcome to Telpax. I'm going to try to show you how to install NextDNS on your router, or at least give you a pretty good idea. The first thing you want to do is get into your router, uh, do a few checkouts here. Um, you need to know the address. It's often on the back of your router on a label. It can be changed. I've changed mine a little bit from the normal 192.168.1.1, that's probably what you have, to 4.1, because I have a lot of routers in the, on the network here. And I'm going to sign in to the router. All right, and it has me there. And I, I'm on a... Um, Asus RT AC68U. It cost me under $30 on eBay. About a, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 year old router. It's been updated to um, Merlin. Asus WRT Merlin. That's an important distinction. Uh, a very good upgrade. This, the stock won't work. Very easy to change it though. And that. Uh, answers our first question, but we need to go down to admin and make sure that we have SSH turned on. And it is down, it is on. Uh, you need to make sure it's enabled. LAN only, local network is fine. The standard 22 port is fine on local network. And that's our check, uh, initial check on the router. Now, when we go to uh, NextDNS, and we're going to, um, let's see here. There we are. Sign into it. You need to create an account with an email and password. Um, we're not using the profile because this router doesn't have NextDNS yet. Um, but if once we create an account, we get a very important number here. This is our ID number, six digits. Mine is 394, B's and boy, C's and Charlie, E's and easy. Unique number on the NextDNS system. You'll have a different number, but it'll be six digits. And you want to make note of that. You also want to go down to routers and click on the open source repository. And you go down to the bottom here, you'll see various platforms. And there at the bottom is ASUS. There are more, by the way, below this. But ASUS WRT is our, is our setup. And it will bring you to the instructions to make sure SSH is turned on. You want to, though, copy this code. Copy it. It's now copied on Windows. And we can close this and bring up our PuTTY. PuTTY is a program. It's easy to install. It will give you the ability to communicate into the router on command line, Linux command line. And we'll type our address again, 192.168.4.1. And open. and bring it down so we can see it and sign in and we're admin and the password okay we're into the route into the router on ssh now we just right click on the mouse and hit enter and now we're ready to install next dns Okay, and I for install, installing. And it remembers the last 
code we used. But you're not going to have that. You need to type in that six-digit number, minus 394 BCE. If you make a mistake, you'll have to do this all over again. Without the right code, it's not going to be able to... The NextDS won't communicate with the router with all that cool stuff. We're going to show you in a second. Just say yes to everything. And we are done. We close PuTTY, open up Chrome, and go back to NextDNS, and sign in. And now it says we're good. We are hooked up. NextDNS is communicating with this router. And the good stuff here, and you can change this from any web browser, is changing your, uh, let's say, your uh, categories of restrictions. And, okay, so we have porn, social networks, and video streaming. Um, turned off, turned off. So um, we can't do porn, social networks, or video streaming with the next DNS settings that we have. Uh, to test it, we'll do uh, Pornhub to show you that, that the porn is restricted. It won't work. Um, social networks. Facebook also can't be reached. YouTube is streaming. And it's coming up. It's not connecting either. Other sites do work that are not in the prohibited categories. There's the New York Times coming up. Um, and you can, of course, turn on and turn off the categories. And for appropriate categories, you can even give it uh, recreation times. So that's all part of the next DNS end of things. But um, it's wonderful control for the router, which is the starting point in your journey to protect yourself, yourselves, and your family from the perils of the internet. That's it for now. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.